Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a tutorial on my pink zebra nails. It's very easy and simple to do. If you like the design, then keep on watching. And if you don't mind, just give me a little nice little thumbs up. The first polish that I picked up was my Wet n Wild 452A Matte Top Coat. I opened on my Ciate number 4. The color Hoopla. I don't know why I love that name. Hoopla! Hoopla! Picked up my Broadway Nail Art Paint in the color 36E Black. My X Formula. As you know, I love my minis. In the color Metric. Rhinestones. I got these so cheap on eBay. Whole bunch of colors, cute, simple. Yeah. Moving on. My broken dining tool. Don't ask me. I have no idea how that broke. Yeah. The first thing that I did was pick up my Seriat. I don't know why I have trouble saying that name. And I just painted my nails with the color. I know it's easier if you use a white polish first as a base color, but I don't know. I just prefer to do it this way. I know it takes longer to gelat up the color, but it's my preferences. You could use a white coat for the top if you prefer, but this is just the way I do it and the way I'm showing you. I'm doing the first top comb. What I did was just wait like a minute or two. I don't really remember how long I waited, but I just started painting my second top coat. I'm telling you, this process takes a while, but I really prefer doing the, this whole step instead of just putting a white coat as a base. I don't know why I'm weird like that, but I don't know. It's what I like to do. Now I let these bad boys dry for a little bit and once I was done letting them dry I picked up this nail polish Metaric X Formula and I just painted my pointer finger a couple of times because when I do one layer it doesn't show a bunch of little fuzzy confetti glitters whatever you want to call them so I just keep dipping my polish at least like two times so the little confetti glitter I don't know what to call them like I just said shows more because hello any girl loves glitter well i love glitter and confetti little things like that on my nails so yeah i picked up my broadway black and 36e and i just started making little zebra lines i know this step could be very hard for some beginners that really not comfortable yet with their steady hands and making straight streak lines but I'm telling you practice makes perfect and I'm still practicing and I'm not gonna call myself a professional but I like the work that I do so just keep practicing and you'll be able to do this step just make sure if you're a beginner a very starting beginner just take your time the less pressure and control that you put into the brush and just let it swip with your hands the easier the lines will come out and just do a zebra sign it may take a couple of times for you but practice I picked up my dotting tool and my rhinestones I picked up the black dot from the rhinestone circle and I just placed one little rhinestone on the middle of my nails on all the empty ones that I didn't have the design on my pinky middle and thumb for a powerful tip, you could place your rhinestone on clear polish so it could stick easier when you place them on your nails instead of just placing the rhinestone on your nails. Once I was done with that, I let them dry for at least 3 minutes, 4 minutes. And once I was done drying them, I went over my nails with the Wet n Wild Matte Top Coat 
and I just painted my nails in them. I already painted some of them and I have no idea where the clip went. I'm so sorry guys. I really did try to find it but I couldn't. But I'm showing you the rest of my fingers that I did paint it. You're going to want to let them dry because you don't want to mess up your beautiful nails. And these are the Envy Socks. I told you it's very easy and simple and they're gorgeous. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you have any requests that you want me to do, then leave them down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to me. Bye, guys.